Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all for a circuit tutorials. I am continuing uh, with the solutions of model question paper one. So I have taken uh, the question number two a. Here we require to find the inverse Laplace transform of s square minus one whole square divided by s power five and s by s square plus six s plus thirteen. So problem is on uh, inverse Laplace transformation. We shall see the solution. So here, uh, before going to the solution, we require to know some uh, basic uh, inverse Laplace transformation. We should know what is la L inverse of one by s. L inverse of one by s is always uh, one. In general, L inverse of one by s power n plus one is given by t e power n divided by n factorial. You should also know what is L inverse of one by s minus a. Is nothing but e power e t e power a t. If we have s plus a, then it will be e power minus a t. So knowing these uh, some of the basic uh, L inverse, we will start with the solution. Considering the first one, I require to find L inverse of s square minus one the whole square divided by s power five. Now expand the numerator. By expanding the numerator, I will. I am going to get L inverse of. I am going to apply a minus b whole square expansion. It is a square. So a square the whole square becomes s power four minus two a b two a square into one is two a square plus b square that is one whole divided by s power five. Now split the numerator with the denominator. We are going to get L inverse of. S power four by S power five minus two S square by S power five plus one by S power five is nothing but L inverse of here S power four divided by S power four get cancelled. You are left out with one by S. I am applying linearity property here minus two times of L inverse of S square and uh, S square get cancelled. You are left out with S cube. So one by S cube plus L inverse of one over S or phi. For all these, I am going to consider the definition of L inverse of one by S or n plus one. It is given by t or n by n factorial. So for the first term, L inverse of one by S is one. Minus two uh, into L inverse of s power three. Three can be written as what? Two plus one. So therefore, n value is two. Uh, We can write this as t square divided by two factorial. Plus here I need to find L inverse of one by s power five. So five can be written as what? Four plus one. So therefore, I came to know the value of n is four. So therefore, it is t power four divided by four factorial. So the finally the answer is. One minus here two factorial by two get cancelled. One minus t square plus t power four divided by twenty four is the required answer. So now let us see the second uh, solution. Note down the given question. They have given we require to find out L inverse of s divided by s square plus six s plus thirteen. So moving with the solution. So, looking at the denominator, we have s square plus six s plus thirteen. We require to solve this by completing the square method. We require to solve this problem by completing the square method. By completing the square method. How to solve this by completing the square method? Let us uh, learn that. So now consider the denominator. Consider whatever. We have in the denominator. Consider s square plus six s plus thirteen. Look at here; it is very simple. Write down the first term, that is s square. Next term can be written as whether it is there or not. Multiples of two. Write in terms of multiples of two in the second term. So two times of six can be written as what? We can write six as what? Multiples of two. I need two times of three will give six. So two into three into s yes. plus. So as I am getting the problem as a square plus 
टू ए बी प्लस आई नीड बी स्क्वायर तो वट इज बी स्क्वायर इयर आई विल कंसिडर द वैल्यू ऑफ बी स्क्वायर एज थ्री स्क्वायर एज आई है मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू एज बीन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ए इन टू बी टू इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ए इन टू बी ए इज ऑलरेडी देयर दैट इज यस एंड बी इज वॉट नाउ थ्री तो जस्ट एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट बाई थ्री स्क्वायर सो दैट इज द वे ऑफ गेटिंग द कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मेथड plus we have 13 write down that now we can rewrite this value as what now looking at this expression i can write the above expression as s plus 3 the whole square i can write this as s plus 3 the whole square since a plus b the whole square is nothing but what a square plus 2ab plus b square s plus 3 the whole square minus 3 square is what 9 plus 13 simplify this we are going to get s plus 3 the whole square minus 9 plus 13 is nothing but plus 4 this is what we got the denominator term so now substituting this denominator in the given question therefore the given problem becomes l inverse of s by s square plus 6s plus 13 can be written as l inverse of s by s by s plus 3 whole square plus 4 so now if we observe the function of s we have s plus 3 here try to make this s as the term as we have here so try to express this s as what s plus 3 so i can write easily this term as l inverse of s plus 3 just add and subtract plus 3 minus 3 whole divided by Yes, plus three. The whole square plus four. So now we have a property called a shifting property. So the property says that L inverse of L inverse of f of s minus a is nothing but e power a t into L inverse of f of s f of s. So just changing s minus a to s, we are going to get the solution. Similarly, here we have s plus three. S plus three will be changes to s, so which can be written as e power a values minus three here, since it is s minus of minus three. A values what minus three? We can write this as e power minus three t into l inverse of s minus three divided by s square plus four. Now splitting this. We are going to get e power minus 3t into l inverse of l inverse of s by s square plus 4 minus 3 into l inverse of 1 by s square plus 4. So as we have studied in the previous video, Laplace of cos 80 and Laplace of sin 80, the inverse of uh, the f of s will be f of t here. so therefore we know that therefore we know that l inverse of l inverse of s by s square plus a square will be equal to cos 80 and l inverse of 1 by s square plus a square will be equal to sin 80 by a sin 80 by so knowing these two definition we can write the above solution as e power minus 3t into l inverse of s by s square plus 4 uh, 4 can be written as 2 square we came to know the value of e is comparing this with this it is nothing but cos 2t minus 3 times of this will be compared with this expression we can write that as sin 2t divided by this will be the required solution for the given problem so this is the way of solving question number 2a so there will be a compulsory one question from inverse laplace of by using basic definitions of inverse laplace so this is what one of the problem of such kind. thank you for watching this video if you like this video kindly do subscribe to my channel and press like button thank you all